Right, right you're, you're excited? Yes, but very busy. Well, it's half Run out my breath. <laughs> so you're aiming to ride the bigger rides today, aren't you? Yeah. Which one are you looking forward to, to getting on most? Um, now Nemesis that you're 1.4. and Galactica. Nemesis and Galactica. Because I've only just turned to 1.4, and I'm sick. Hopefully, I enjoy all fight here. I need, I'll think about Smiler. Well, okay. we'll see what happens. Your road's sick, and to be fair, that's more intense than it's got. Yeah. It's only got four less inversions, and I, so. And I like, told me that, um, that um, six more intense than Smiler. I looked up for G-Force. Like, oh, G-Force means nothing. No, not, not in terms of the overall ride experience, anyway. But we're going to get inside, go for what? Uh, a walk around. Yep. Queues are going to be big. Well, let's go do this. That's right guys, what's happening? Welcome down to a brand new video right here on Theme Park Insanity. Now today, we're back at Alton Towers. Doesn't quite have the same feel as it did anymore, especially after Earth Telly, but regardless of that, there is a few things to check out, but more importantly, we're actually here. Because as you've seen, VO is now 1.4, so that means he can get on the bigger rides. And we're gonna kick off our day down in Forbidden Valley with Nemesis and hopefully Galactica. So let's head down there. I'll share his full thoughts after we've ridden them. Of course, sadly, we can't film a ride because Merlin won't let us do that, but hey, is what it is. Yeah, let's go. If you haven't already guessed it, yes, it is raining. <laughs> Always seems to do that most of the time that we come. We never seem to get a dry day here. Yeah, we get beautiful sunny days up at Flamingo Land in North Yorkshire where it's supposed to rain all the time. Go figure. Fear's not actually been here since last year, so he's literally seen all of this for the first time. Impressed? Very impressed. It is cool. But we'll head down to Nemesis. Time to play Alton Towers Ride Roulette and Russian Roulette and see if we can actually get on something because we just walked past Curse and that was shut. It really is, in comparison to Europe, over here, especially at Alton Towers recently, it's like playing Russian roulette with the rides as to whether you're actually going to get on anything. Nemesis Subterra, closed. Curse Alton Manor, closed. It's now after park open. Let's get down to Nemesis and fingers crossed we can actually get on it. Right, so we just measured for you, still definitely 1.4. Yes. Time for Nemesis. Oh, this is going to be good. I can't wait to hear his first reactions. He loves sick. You're going to love... What am I doing? You're going to love this. Trust me, you're going to love it. It does look like the extended queue line's open today. So, in fact, there's a massive queue up there. So it's going to be quite a bit of a wait, but regardless of that, it gives us some time to get some shots, etc. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, busiest it's been since opening day. All the extended lines are now open. We've not been around the gun before. And have just noticed as I was walking around, you give it a chance to get around. Big white phalanx logo on the back. That's pretty cool. Lots of additional theme. You've got a track coming out of the ground, as we've seen before. Nice to get a better look at this, though. And it is doing the rounds. I still love IQ around there. Let's go. Right, okay, so in typical Merlin fashion, we're stood around waiting to find out what's going on. The, ra the train hasn't gone up for about 10 or 15 minutes. Nobody has any idea. There's no announcements and no nothing. In comparison to uh, Europe, where if something's wrong, one, they tell you what's happening, two, they tell you when it's back open, and three, they actually let you know when we're in advance of standing around for 25 minutes. I may be overcritical, but after going and seeing other parks outside of the UK, this is pretty abysmal. Not gonna lie. Present, we are unsure how long the delay may be, but hope to be back in operation soon. Thank you for your patience. John Wardley's books from Bunker 94, so both Life After Nemesis and Create My Own Nemesis are both now uh, in the shop. So if you want to grab those, you can do. They are eligible for discounts, so if you are planning on buying both and you've got a Platinum Pass, you're looking at around about £22.39 for both of them, which actually 
isn't too bad. We've also had uh, a quick look as well at Project Ocean. It looks like the uh, foundations for the concrete now are starting to go in. So we'll keep you up to date on that. Time to play round two of Russian Roulette with Old Towers Rise. See if we try and get on Galactica. Fingers crossed we actually do this time. Let's go. Feels trying out the test seat. Let's get those back for you there, you put your legs in there. And that goes down like that. And they go down like that. And then you walk off and leave them. Bye bye, Theo. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Where everybody from Nemesis's queue lines come to. Straight off one ride and straight onto another. Sadly, that's what happens. But it says 35 minutes. I reckon we're probably realistically looking. Yeah, I'd say probably around that bar. Because usually it goes right down there. So I should just don't feel too bad. Let's see how long it takes and hopefully this one actually stays open. Right, okay, station one, let's go do. Oh, hey up. Oh. There we go. <laughs> excited? Yay. You excited? Yes. Good. Well, can't be helped, at least we're hopefully going to get on this and then we'll go and retry Nemesis. Yes. As soon as the game is open, go through and deposit any loose articles in the cages provided. Please note that the cages are provided. Right, okay, so Theo's first major roller coaster here at Old Towers under his belt with Galactica. I think it's safe to say he really enjoyed that, so that's really good. Really enjoyed it? Yeah. Okay. So there we are. We're going to head back over to Nemesis now, try our luck with that. Hopefully we get on this time. For those of you that were coming in on social media this morning, I appreciate that uh, the, the first two posts were a little bit overzealous and a little bit unprofessional, so apologies for that. But you can understand my frustration. Anyway, let's go try Nemesis. Right, so how was that then? Really good. You like it? Yes, it's smooth. My first being coaster. It is. Very good, there it goes in the background. It's, it's intense, but not too intense. Good. Very good. Is it rough? No, it's That's good. some other rides. Really smooth, isn't it? Yeah. So you enjoyed that then? Very enjoyed it. It's, I recommend. It's very different, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Different to every other ride. Indeed. Um, and I can see what you meant. It was unique. It certainly is unique. Yeah, right. Very right, let's go to Nemesis. Oh, there she goes. Right, let's go get back in the queue line. Second time round, fingers crossed. Oh, wow, that looks busy. <laughs> There's a lot of people up there. It'd be worth it, though. Let's go get in the queue. Right, okay, so it's now on a 75 minute wait. So we're going to pop away. We'll come back in a bit. Um, and we'll do it in a bit basically. We're going to go and try and see what else we can get on because of course other than these rides around here there is also plenty else that you can actually get on. So let's go for a walk. We're going to head to Curse but that still at the moment does remain closed as well. So head towards the uh, front of the park, take it from there and see what else is open up there. On a more positive note, I would like to give a big shout out to the staff because actually the staff have been lovely so far and they've been really great as well. Very interactive, the entertainers are doing a great job. And just overall, they are creating a nice atmosphere. So, as unfortunate as ride availability currently is, and it isn't great, the staff are amazing. So, big shout out to you guys. Okay, 
okay, so we've just been for a coffee in a corner coffee and a donut. An Oblivion donut. I know they're pricey, but they are really nice. I love Project D. The, I think personally they're on par with likes of. Uh, now then, you're right, Rob. Not bad, mate. You? Yeah, I'm good. Good to see you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it was nice to sort of like uh, have a coffee and a break. Good we'll to see Rob. We'll have a chat with him in a second. But also a big shout out to Bianca. Thank you so much for coming down and saying hi to us. We really appreciate that. Lovely to see you again. And uh, yeah, I think feels even more excited for his ride on Nemesis now. So uh, without further ado. Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> she is alive and kicking. I've just seen her go around. Let's go. Looking forward to uh, bringing you Theo's first force after his ride. Yeah. Excited? Sort of. Sort of. You're nervous at the same time? Yeah. Yeah, you bound to be. But this is going to be awesome. Right, let's go get a ride. God, I love this ride. And yes, we booked fast track. <laughs> I wanted to get him on it. Ordinarily, I wouldn't have bothered because I don't really agree with fast track too much. But in Theo's case, I want him to ride it. And it's nearly over an hour queue still up there. So, uh, yeah. Bit in the bullet and done it. And there we are. And she's leaving the station. Can't wait to see what he thinks of it. I really can't. One of my all time favourites. There she goes. And still quite the queue. Anyway, our turn. How are you feeling? Not good. Not good? You'll be fine. My descent looks so fast. Not as fast as it used to be. It used to be a lot faster. I tell you, if I went on the old Nemesis and I liked it, I would have gone on this. Well, you, you didn't go on the old Nemesis because you weren't big enough, but. Old one too back then. No, indeed you weren't. But, gonna ride Nemesis for the first time. This is gonna be really exciting, and actually, I'm really looking forward to showing you thoughts to everyone when you get off. So, uh, let's go get the ride. I will speak to you, the viewers, when we get off. Sit back. It's fright time. <laughs> what do you think to the station then? It's very immersively themed, really well themed. It is, isn't it? At the same time, I'm so scared. My heart, my heart's going through faster than everybody's car. The first, the first spins out. I mean, to be fair, that could be that could be the um, chocolate donut you just had. And the uh, caramel frappuccino that actually had coffee in it. I reckon I should have given you that, but you did. So it could well be that. But yeah, I think there's a chance we might even get on the front row possibly. But I think we'll probably end up with you getting measured before we get on. So, uh... all right, let's go. Let's try it. A staff member has just confirmed he definitely is the 1.4. We've got a uh, lovely little wristband to prove it. And on top of all of that, front row for the first ride. Again. Well, better place to sit. I'll tell you something, you're lucky, kid. You barely get a front row on this. Yeah, you're nervous, aren't you? You'll be fine. It's going to be good, trust me. Right, so Fields just had his first ever ride on Nemesis. What did you make of that? I'm shocked. It was so good. I told you it'd be good. It was proper witchy when all fits. Oh my God, I love it so much. Everything about it's so good. Station, immersively a rail thing, like I said back then. And basically, I think that that is my favourite coaster here so far. That's your favourite coaster so far. Yes. So how does that compare with Sick then? Um, is it better than Sick or is it about the same or? About the same. About the same? Yeah. yeah. But this is the one you like so far? Yeah. Right, well I think with all of that in mind, you said round two, didn't you? Okay. Oh, let's buy fast pass. I'm not buying a fast pass, but we will go to the queue. Right, let's go. So again, another really proud father moment there. Two major coasters here at Alton Towers under his belt. He's now ridden both Nemesis and Galactica. Now, of course, we're making our way up to Smiler in terms of building his kind of bravery for that. So I'm sure in time that will come. But the fact he's even saying round two on Nemesis, given the fact it is more intense, is brilliant. And it is now on a 30 minute wait. 
So into the main queue line, and let's go get back on. Too, then how was that? We're towards the back then, weren't we? In fact, we're, in fact we're, we're, we're one row from the back, so actually that's about as intense as it's going to get, is that? I love Nemesis. Brilliant. I should have gone with Nemesis. If they kept it to this map till now, I would go with it. I wish that they they didn't reach back it before I went on it, so I can actually get the well you've done it and that's all that matters that so, so good good. right well let's make his way down to uh, galactica i'll tell you something there's literally no stopping him now two rides on uh, nemesis we had one on uh, galactica earlier on i've just told him we're going on galactica again <laughs> and he's already run off ahead he's dying to get back on it and to be fair he loved it he really did but yeah i think nemesis is definitely his favorite at this stage it's amazing that we're finally getting him on these kind of rides. Given the fact he's now 1.4, he's got his little wristband, so yeah, absolutely amazing. And apart from the kind of rubbishy start that we had, having a great day so far. It's not a 45 minute queue at all. It said 45 minutes, that ain't 45 minutes. That's literally probably about 15, 20 a push. Just shows you, don't always trust the queue times. Because sometimes they haven't been updated and sometimes they're just generally not right in general. Unless anything happens, of course, which is unavoidable, really. But yeah. Anyway, going for round two. Let's go do this. And round two goes to Galactica. Oh, that's gone down too. Oh dear. on Galactica, two rides on Nemesis. Not bad considering it's a busy day. Reliability again continues to be a problem however no subterra today, no curse at Alton Manor, major roller coasters are dropping in and out of service so yeah they're fixing things as they go but that's two out of the three current major dark rides that are actually out of action. Which isn't really that good. You know, I was, I was looking forward to Curse, so good about that. And obviously I wanted to get him on uh, Subterra as well, but never mind. I mean, there's always another time. It's good if you are pass holders, because it does mean that, you know, on days like this, it's not so much of a major issue. But if you are paying as a guest on day tickets, you're going to have a problem. Anyway, we are having a good time so far, despite all of that. Uh, and we're going to take a walk now up to the top end of the park. Go see what else is going on up there. Let's go. Right, Fia, where are we heading next then? Okay, I'm gonna, I said, I made my decision. I said, screw it. Just think of the photo. I like, you can guess what I'm going on. I bet you won't believe it. I'm going on. The smiler. The smiler, right. Oh God, help me. <laughs> what am I doing to myself? Right, let's go do this. This is going to be really good. I mean, it's not as intense as Sick. Sick is far more intense. And it's got four more invergence, plus that absolutely awesome one down below as you exit the station. So let's head over, see what he makes of it.
<laughs> You're gonna love it, trust me. That's as hell. It's gonna be good. Sophia's has officially done the smiler. What do you think of that? Come over here. It's so good. So good. I love you. So which do you like most then? Smiler or Nemesis? Smiler, of course. Smiler. Here it goes. Whoa! Chewling! Way! <laughs> right, so down here in X Sector, recently they've opened up a little sort of like food court area almost. With four different food vendors. So you've got fish and chips, you've got the drop bar, free fall pizza. And shock burgers, so different foods. Now, I'd assume all of these will be external vendors, but it's a nice use of space for the time being. Obviously, they've uh, paved it all, so it's all nice and fresh as well. So, you've got a flat surface to eat on. That's obviously where Enterprise used to be. But long term, we'd like to see some, uh, some flat rides around here one there, one around here. I think that's going to happen at some point. Definitely feel like that's going to happen, but for the time being, yeah, not a bad little addition for this year. Oh, it's really ticking them off today. Smiler, Galactica, Nemesis. Three are probably the most intense rides at the park, realistically. The only one he's not done is Oblivion. Which I'm a bit gutted about, but hey, I'm sure I'll do it in time. We're going to head out now. Packs up until six today, but quite frankly, I'm absolutely cream crackered. And we've got quite a few rides. So what started out as a bad day has actually turned into a really quite a decent day. Let's head out and we'll wrap this up. All right, before we go, we're gonna take a spin on Spinball Wizard. Not done this one for a while. In fact, I don't even think I've done it this year. It says a 40 minute queue, but let's see if it actually adds up to that or whether it's actually shorter. Let's go have a gander. Good little course to this, nice and forceful. That concludes our rides here. We we're passing spin ball and it wasn't really on a bad way. It was around about 40 minutes and to be fair I think it probably was. But yeah, got on. Rough as a bag of spanners. But it's good laugh at least. And uh, Theo's done it obviously now for the second time. Because he did it a while back for the first time and uh, I think he enjoyed it, yeah. I'm gonna head out, have a quick look in Towers Trading on the way out and then we'll wrap this up. Right, so okay, so uh, quick look in Towers Trading on the way out. As far as I can tell, I think these must be new. Not 100%, but I don't remember seeing these before, and they are uh, textured as well, which is nice. Phil's getting himself a t-shirt. I think he's earned it after that. In terms of pins, I think we're pretty much looking at the same stuff that we had last time. Okay, I can't see anything new. It's all looking the same stuff to prefer. Yeah, still looking the same. I mean, I do like some of these actually, but these are uh, these are last year's. There's a lot of new ones though. Absolutely loads of new ones. I am loving the trains. I think at some point I've got a Wickman one, but I think I'm gonna have to pick up the rest of them just to add them to the collection. You've got your uh, scare maze ones there, which is cool. Cool to see. That's back. Heave ho. That's quite a nice one. Other than that though, I don't know if that's new actually, I don't remember seeing that. Probably not, but yeah, still nice. Yeah, other than that, I don't think there's really anything else that's, uh, that's new, but again, all your stuff over there event merchandise and stuff like that here as well. 
still lots of that left actually. Wooden tumbling blocks. Jenga, Alton Towers Jenga. You can get Alton Towers Monopoly. Trumps, top trumps rather. That is one heck of a beast. Look at the size of this mug. Wow, mega mug. That is awesome. And to be fair, with the amount of coffee I go for, I could probably drink out of that. You probably could. That is really quite cool, actually. Again, this year, loving these resins. These resins are really nice. They don't have them for every ride, but the ones they do have, really, really nice. And you've got a ball got a Football, yep. Yeah. Indeed you have. Yeah, not a major amount of, like, new, new stuff, but uh, there's a few bits and pieces. Good to see. Got cursor old man and merch there. I do love that mug as well. I think as far as I can tell, obviously you've got your uh, Nemesis stuff down in the other store, but apart from that, yeah, just the odd, uh, odd new piece of merchandise. Right, let's pay and let's wrap this up. Well, okay, so that wraps up our day here at Alton Towers, and what an absolutely fantastic day it eventually turned out to be. Regardless of the awful start that we had and dis disappointment we initially experienced, it's actually turned into a really, really good day. And the fact that Theo's obviously got on the Smiler, he's got on Nemesis, he's got on Galactica, and experienced those rides for the first time has really, really made it for me personally. And speaking of that, let's talk to Theo. Right, so Theo, big day for you then. How's it been? So, really good. Took from bad day with everything, pretty much 50% of rides closing down to everything opening, selling, except yeah, we, I did as well. Yeah, and for, and for other rides. Anyway, let's talk about good rides. So which, so, which one was your favourite then out of the three major coasters you've experienced Smiler. today? Smiler. Smiler, why was that? Because um, 14 versions crazy, first up here too, which is pretty much really good because it gets some right speed, first bat ring, first... Um, First up, to, um, uplift. Yeah. Because everything is so good on Smiler. Fantastic. Um, let's move. I'm gonna move on to Nemesis. Nemesis. How was Nemesis? Nemesis was really good. Second spend suspended coaster. First suspended inverted coaster. Indeed. Again, really nice and fast. Not too fast, but not not minimal fast. I mean, it's, it's probably one of the most intense rides at the park, realistically. Yep. So oh, you've done really well to ride yep. that twice. And Galaxica, that was a well run. Yeah, you loved that, didn't you? Getting on for flying bit. When you're in the station, it feels, it sort of feels weird to like, get from sitting down at like that to facing yeah. down to ground. Yeah, it's a weird setup, that, isn't yeah. it? So. So overall favourite ride today, then, what do you reckon? The Smiler. Definitely the Smiler. Second. Galactica. Brilliant. And you've also got yourself a t shirt in there in that yeah. bag. So you've got yourself a uh, yeah. Smiler t shirt. Make so that's good. No, keep hold of it, keep it nice and tight. But you had a good day? Yeah, a really good day. Yeah, it's been nice having just me and you time as well, yeah, hasn't it? Very nice. Brilliant. Right, well, let's, uh, let's wrap this up then. So there you have it. That was Fields Day here, riding most of the major rides for the very first time here at Alton Towers. What an incredible day. It really has. Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. It's been absolutely absolutely amazing. It really, really has. And as I said, you know, the start, it wasn't really the best. Um, issues with ride time. And yes, it's been a bit good in that the Cursor Old Man has been down all day. I did want to get on that. So never mind. There's always next time. But regardless of that, fantastic day. Theo's really ticked some major milestones off today. And yes, we're going to get the monorail back down because we did walk up. But I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. What do you remember about when you first rode the major roller coasters? Do you have any memories, memories rather, that have kind of stayed with you? Um, or just memories of riding the big rides for the very first time? I'd love to know about them in the comments below. And for now, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, hit subscribe, turn on notifications. And if you have, smash that like button and let me know. It's always really appreciated. But for now, I'm Joe, this is Theme Park Insanity, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.